Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we are doing a full moon energy reading for the month of October. Now this full moon is going to pack a punch for sure. It's going to be a super full moon and it's going to be in the sign of Aries. We're going to experience a lot of fiery energy. So we'll feel little bursts of energy throughout the next upcoming weeks. If we channel this energy correctly, it's going to help to push us towards the goals that we desire. If it's not channeled correctly, if we're not careful, it could overwhelm, it could overstimulate, you could feel anxious, nervous, fearful through this energy. So just be mindful of that. If you start feeling those emotions come up, call your energy back. Learning how to ebb and flow with the energy is going to be important. And this next month is going to be a good practice run for that. Now, the journal prompt that I'm going to put out there, if you're interested, what are one or two goals that you would like to accomplish in 2025? And what can you do now to move you closer to that desired outcome? Now, please keep in mind, guys, the messages here on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message. Also, never give your power away to tarot. This is just information to prepare you for what's to come. So take what resonates and leave the rest. For information on rituals, for ritual kits, for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's dive right into Gemini's energy for this upcoming full moon. And let's see what exactly it is that you're releasing through this energy. Most important message here for Gemini. Spirit, what do my Gemini friends need to know? What do they need to see through this upcoming energy? Please and thank you. devil, the sun, the five of wands. Now, the devil energy, guys, is it's associated with things that are no longer serving us. It could be a toxic person in our life. Maybe this is a toxic behavior pattern that we exude. Um, maybe this is overindulgence, right? Whatever this is, it's like inner conflict with this five of wands. I feel like this is internal. I feel like there's something internal that you're trying to overcome that you're trying to, maybe this is money mindset for some of you. Maybe this is how you're showing up for work or a friendship that's holding you back. However, this is resonating for you, Gemini, the sun tells me that everything is going to work out exactly as it needs to work out. Everything is going to work out in a just, favorable manner. But things may feel through October going into November a little bit chaotic. So prepare for that. The energy surrounding you at this time, the Four of Wands, this is happy family, um, happy home. This also is symbolic of community. And we're going to clarify as we go through here. What's hidden here is the Nine of Swords. So there's something here that's keeping you up at night. Whether this is like overthinking, overanalyzing a friendship. 
overthinking, overanalyzing a behavior pattern that's holding you back, but this internal conflict is weighing heavy on your mind, okay? The how to overcome this challenge, how to transmute this energy is to just hit the ground running. Queen of Swords, it's like you need to look at this situation very straightforward, very practically. So let's say this has to do with work and this is a job situation and maybe there's a toxic boss or something along those lines where you've been kind of just holding back, holding this in, not really taking action one way or the other. This is indicative of getting ready to take, to take action, whether it's to tell somebody higher than you about the treatment, or maybe this is like changing the environment. I do feel here there is a need to kind of hit the ground running, and we're going to clarify as we go through. The outcome if action is taken is the Ace of Pentacles. The outcome if no action is taken is the Death Energy. And this is going to be the advice guidance moving forward. So we'll pull that over at the end. The main message that I get coming through here is work related or like you're up in the air about whether you should let go of traditional work altogether and focus on your career, on your business, um, on whatever you've been working on behind the scenes, Gemini, but there's this fear that's holding you back. So let's clarify the four of wands energy for Gemini. This is people that are surrounding you, supporting you, lifting you up. So if this has to do with like taking that leap of starting your own business, I do feel like you have the support you need to make it work. There may be some things that you're having to plan out or organize behind the scenes before actually taking the leap. So being strategic with money, being strategic at this time um, with how you spend your time is going to be important. Okay. I definitely feel like this has to do with like a toxic work environment or a friendship that kind of is holding you back. Maybe this situation or this person it keeps you stuck in the certain mindset. So let's clarify the Nine of Swords. This is the challenge for Gemini. There are some big changes that are needing to be made. I definitely feel like there is a need to focus on the positive things the sh that are coming from the shift. So the new beginnings that are happening, the new connections that you're meeting, the new experiences, um, and not focusing so much on the things that you're leaving behind. Very, very clear message. Okay. Because whatever it is that you are leaving behind, whether this is a mindset or a work situation, it's like you knew this wasn't exactly in alignment for you. Okay. How to release this is the Queen of Swords. This is like a person who is just very straightforward, very practical about goals, about work, about their personal life. I definitely feel there is a little bit of a detachment emotionally. So I feel like that's something that you are either needing to address or may need to address in the future. Look, it's not easy to change anything, whether this is a money mindset, whether this is shifting work, whether this is moving to a new location, change is never easy. What is coming out here in the reading, Gemini, for you is this shift, this change is definitely going to be worth it and it's going to happen. You can focus on what's being left behind, or you can focus on the new things that are coming in 
and more of that is going to come in for you. Whatever you focus on is what you're going to manifest. Okay? Thoughts are energy, and eventually they turn into things. Energy eventually turns into things. So, the outcome of action is taken is the Ace of Pentacles. This is starting something new. It's like taking this leap head on and just doing it. And yes, there are things that you're having to release. There's things that you're having to leave behind. Maybe this is having to do with relationships or friendships. But there are also new beginnings, new experiences that are coming in. Okay. Now, if no action is taken, the change is still going to be made. It's just going to be a, a little more difficult. It's going to feel a lot more resistant with the death energy. So, and you see the death energy is part of the action that needs to be taken. Um, so this is inevitable. If you focus on the shift and the positive things that are coming in, Gemini, it's going to happen quicker. You're not going to have to sit around and wait for things to come to fruition because you're focusing on the things that are coming in. Let's pull over the advice guidance moving forward for your energy. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. For information on rituals, for ritual kits, for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you found the messages helpful, if it's resonating for you, please mm -hmm. give it a thumbs up or comment below how it was helpful, how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person. The Hermit, the High Priestess, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands. Gemini. The Hermit energy is like, and the Knight of Pentacles energy. Both of those cards are indicative of taking time to figure this out, taking space to figure this out, putting things on pause until you figure out your plan of action. Okay. Intuitively, you've already been guided to what the best potential outcome needs to be. There's a little bit of resistance to this, but if you focus on the positive things that are coming in instead of the things that are falling away, it's going to be better. Don't feed into the fear, guys. It's going to be a lot of things that come up in October going into November, okay? So don't feed into the fear. Understand that there are entities in this world that want you to focus on the fearful things that are happening, okay? Observe, bear witness, and then focus on the things that are coming in, the positive things that are coming your way. So Gemini, your moon manifestation oracle here is movement. If you've been waiting for something, you will soon have clarity. You will get answers you thought would never come, and you will move closer to things that were out of reach before. Perhaps this card predicts a trip that you've always wanted to take. The symbol of movement can indicate both a change of scene and a real shift in the direction of your life. No matter what this symbol holds for your question, know that wonderful change is now possible. This is the time to make a move. Beautiful, beautiful. Gemini, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this energy. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. I hope the message was helpful for you and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste. So just wanted to come on and talk a little bit about what's new and exciting for our tribe and here on the channel. So on Tuesdays, I'm going live at 1 p.m. Most Tuesdays that I don't have an event that weekend, only because I'm usually preparing for an event. 
Also, for events, to connect in person, check out Facebook. That's where I can share the actual event page for you to go check out each individual event. If you're interested in the newsletter, the monthly newsletter comes out the third week of the month. So if that's something that you're interested in, you sign up over on the website. On the link tree, I have all the links on how to connect with me, whether it be Facebook, Instagram, I also have Teespring, the website. Also keep in mind guys, through the website is the only way to book a personal reading. If you reach out to me um, and message me personally, that's fine, but I'm always going to refer you back to the website because that has my schedule. It has a calendar where you get to select the day and the time where your reading will be done. Please just give me a little bit of grace when doing these events also, guys. It can take a lot out of me to have to prepare and also to set up and to interact, whether it be a day or a two day event. So just give me a little bit of grace the weeks that I have the events going on. I promise I didn't forget about you guys. I promise I will be back um, and I will be live again soon. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support, for liking, for subscribing, for sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. And I look forward to connecting again soon. Namaste.